Hello and welcome to Unreal Made Easy and in today's tutorial we're going to be covering some basic stuff. We're going to cover first we're going to cover what a float and integer are. Then we're going to cover what some math operations are. We're going to start with the addition and subtraction. We're also going to do the multiplication and then we're going to finish everything off with division. So let's not waste any time and uh, let's get started. Okay, to start out with, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our content browser. Okay. So we're going to go to our third person, go to the blueprints. We're going to open up the third person blueprint. Okay. Now, right here, we're going to create two variables. And this is how we're going to introduce. So the first one we're going to create is going to be the integer. So we're going to call now integers are whole numbers. We're going to call it a whole number for the integer. Next, we're going to create the float and floats are a decimal number. So we'll just call it decimal number. And by holding down control and left drag, we can just drop both of these on the graph. Okay. Grab, move these over, give us some room. Okay, next we're gonna add the operators. We're gonna start with the plus and minus operator, starting with the plus first. So we're gonna do add, it's gonna add operator. And as you can see here, it's giving a whole number. Now, if we do the same thing again, do the add, and we connect the decimal number, the float, see okay yeah sorry it's gonna we're gonna have to fix this so we're gonna have to change this decimal number or into the into the float okay control drag that on the graph okay now when we collect this up it's going to give us a decimal number now we're gonna create something here called a clamp let's see If we can spell it right, there we go. We're gonna do a clamp integer, which is gonna be for that whole number. And we're gonna do the same thing for the decimal number. We're gonna create a clamp. Now a clamp is basically a, a, a value that it'll stop, it'll stop the number from going. So for instance, in this instance, we're gonna, we're gonna start up here. So we're gonna say we're gonna do increments of five for the whole number. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go minus 55 and that will be the lowest it can go because it's a negative number and we're going to go positive 60. Now we're going to do the same thing for decimals because whole numbers and decimal numbers so floats and integers can be positive or negative. The only difference is the float floats between numbers through decimals within tenths. So for this one we're going to do minus 125 five dot well dot three and then we'll do let's see uh two twenty dot two and that now in order now that we've got our operators here we're gonna need to do an alt and a left mouse button and drag on the set we're gonna set these numbers so we're gonna set the whole number and we're gonna set the decimal number now in order to activate all these numbers or, or this particular code, we're going to use the one key. So just type in one and key. And if you search down just a little bit, it'll be mm, fairly close. Okay. Go ahead. We can connect these up. Now we got to make sure we set the integer to the whole number and the clamp for this one to the decimal number. Now, to show these values, we're going to use a print string. And within this print string, we're going to connect this up. And we're going to change the color of the text that we're going to use to white to show our values on the screen. So two seconds. I just like it a little bit longer than two. Maybe like we'll just do three seconds. 
And then finally, we're going to need to put something here for the string. So we're going to create something called a format text. Format text right here. And for the format, we're going to use a whole number. So we could do like age, level, or whatever. So in this example, I'm going to use age. We're going to do an age semicolon. And we're going to create something. We're going to create a socket for it. So we're going to use the squiggly line bracket and use a for the variable squeak line bracket again and that's going to show us uh, that's going to show us the cycle for the age now we're going to need to divide this up because we also want to add something called a temperature that's going to be our our float number our decimal number that we're going to use to represent it put a semicolon here space and we're going to do it in fahrenheit so we're going to do a squiggly line use f as the actual variable and squiggly line again so now, watch as I hit enter, you're going to get the two slots here. And that's because of the A variable here and the F variable here. We're going to do a compile and uh, save. Now, let's connect our whole number up to the age. Let's connect our decimal number to the Fahrenheit, which is going to be the temperature. And then finally, let's go ahead and hook this up to the string here so it'll print that value. Now, I'm going to show you that in a second, but while we're here, let's go ahead and do the subtract operator. So we can learn that as well. We're going to use all the same code, so just highlight it. Put the mouse right below here in a nice spot. Do a control D, and that'll duplicate the code. Next, we're going to have to add something to activate it. We'll use the two key in this instance for the subtraction. Scroll down here, find the keyboard event. Zoom in. We can go ahead and connect it up here. We're going to leave everything the same, except the only thing that we're going to change. Oh, okay. So let me see. Yeah, we're going to add the 10.3 right here for the incremental change here. We're going to have to do that, well, for here as well, but we're going to change these operators to the subtraction ones. So let's go ahead and delete those. And we're going to right click. We're going to do a subtract. And while that's highlighted, we're going to put our mouse down here, control D, and that'll duplicate it. We're going to connect that up, and that's going to change those operators into either an integer or a float operator. Now we're going to hook those up to their values. And we're going to add the incremental changes here. So the 5, and I think the one we had here was 10.3. We're going to compile. I'm using a control shift S to, to save. Now we're going to grab this, drag this over here, go into the level, and let's go ahead and test out our, our code. So now if we hit two, it's going to give us the negative, okay? But if we hit one, notice it's going to give us the positive. So the age is changing, the temperature is changing. Now let's go ahead and we're going to escape out of that, go back to our third person. And now what we want to do here is I want to show you how to do the multiplier, but we're going to grab some extra stuff here. So we're going to grab the whole number in a decimal, highlight it, hover your mouse down here, control D. We're going to probably, yeah, we're going to also need the text. So we're going to highlight that control here, D here. Do it two times, control D. Oh, sorry. Highlight it again, control D. And yeah, we're going to need the, the actual print string while that's highlighted. Control D here. Now we're going to use this particular code that we're making here to we're going to we're going to use this to actually check our status. So let's go ahead. We're going to use uh, the C key to check our current status. So we're going to look for the C key. Scroll down. You take your time and. Um, yeah, right here, C key, under keyboard events. Okay, now for these two right here, we're going to change these around a little bit. So first things first, let's go ahead and uh, we can go ahead and uh, hook up to the print string here. And then right here, where it's the temperature, we're going to delete all that. And we're going to put dog years and this is just gonna be an example 
and then we're going to put the squiggly lines and a D here. And then hit enter, and you can see we've changed our code here a little bit. And right now we're just going to show the whole number, so we're going to show the age, and then we're going to convert the whole number into dog years. So for every one human year, there's a dog year. So we're going to need a multiply node. And multiply. And then we can connect it like so to the D for the dog years. And actually, let's go ahead and um, put the semicolon there. And then for the value here, we're going to put 7 because, you know, we're going to take our whole number times 7, and that's going to give us our uh, age and dog years. Let's just go ahead and we're going to connect that up. It's going to create that extra transfer node. And then we're going to compile, and then I'm going to do a control shift. S to save. We're going to go right to the to the level here. And we can do the same thing like we did before. Raise the value up. I'm going to put the value at 35 years of age, temperature 72. And we hit the C button. It's going to give us the age. Okay, let me go back. Okay. Yes, let's change the color here to yellow, just so we can make it stand out. And then the other thing is, since we're doing a, we're checking our current level, we're going to do 15 seconds for that. And let's just try that again. We're going to compile and save. Go back to the map. Hit play. Add some values. We'll do 30 this time. And then if we hit the C, you're going to get the age of 30. And then in dog years, you'd be 210. So that's how the multiply operator will work. All right, moving on, we're going to go back into the code. And now we're going to do a divide code. So for this one, we're going to do a, a little bit more. So we're going to do this all in for the temperature. So we're going to delete the age on this one. And then right here, we got this F, but we're going to just actually name it. So we're going to call it fair. Let's see, fair and height. And then right behind the Fahrenheit, we're going to give a conversion for Celsius. So we're going to do a space bar and that just to format it. And then cell C, yes, it should be spelled right. Squiggly line C, we're going to create our socket here. And then hit enter. Now we've got the Fahrenheit and Celsius socket because that's what's in the squiggly lines here. And for the decimal number, we're just going to take it straight to that, and that's going to be the Fahrenheit number. But now for the Celsius number, we're going to have to do a little operation, a little math operation here. We're going to do, so first you're going to do a subtract. This is going to be the formula for Celsius, so I'll subtract. And we're going to subtract 32 from the decimal number. And from there, we're going to do a multiply. And we're going to multiply that by 5. And then finally, for this final operator here, we're going to do a divide. And that's by 9. And that's going to give us the conversion from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So whatever number we put, it'll be within Fahrenheit and Celsius. Now, to display it, we're going to copy this blue string here by highlighting it. Control D. Select this. We're going to make this one purple for the temperature. I guess that's a cool purple there. And we're going to drag off here and hook that up. Make sure we connect that like so. Compile. See, so I got a control shift S for saving. We're going to go back into our level. We're going to hit play. And then right here, we can change the temperature. So the temperature, if you look, it's at 82, we'll say 92. You hit C at 92 degrees, it'll be 33 Celsius. So that's how we can use the multiple. That's how we can use floats, integers, clamps, and multiplication. So, I hope this video was helpful. And please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.